Hello guys, forgive me my voice, I'm struggling with a cold the entire week, but I finally found an energy in myself to finish the tutorial I've made before. So in this video we're gonna make teleportation, it's gonna be really short, much shorter than previous two videos, because almost everything is done and we just have to do a bit of a setup and one short script and you'll be able to walk through the portals. Alright, let's do this. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to my Patreon's friendly robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Mitro Billets, Steven and his son Gennady. Thanks to you guys, these tutorials are possible. Now let's begin. First we have to do something I didn't do before, because I was kinda lazy and not paying attention. We need to center the objects and the portal, because at the moment if I press W and C position of the portal in the scene window, it is here. And I need it to be exactly in the center because this is important for teleportation part and everything. So what we're gonna do here is something simple. We're gonna take portal mesh and bring it up and then reset position here, zero, zero, zero. This is good. Now we need to take uh, portal A and make a box collider. And we can see box collider is in the center as well. So this is the center of the object now. Let's increase the size of the collider. We're gonna be using it for teleportation. So let's do is trigger first. This is important. Is trigger, don't miss it, okay? Then size can be two, three, and one. Good. Now again, for teleportation effect, it is important that view of the portal is at the back and the edge of the collider, somewhere here. And luckily it is very easy to place. We're just gonna select portal mesh and Change position of the Z to minus 0.5. Now it is exactly as we need. And all what we need to do is to fix the door mesh. Sorry. Like so. Let's just bring it down. Bring it to the left. Maybe be to the forward. This one can be minus 5. And it's okay. Good. Maybe let's take portal mesh and just slightly inside of the door. Yeah, okay. Now the center of the portal is in the center, which is cool. This is what we need. Now we need to do the same with the second portal. And camera is not that important. It can be as it is now. Here, what we need to do. We take portal mesh, make it first child, reset position, zero, 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 okay. Now this is the center of the portal and we're gonna add a box collider. Box collider. Let's make it two, three, one. Uh, good. Now we take portal mesh, make it minus five on the Z. Oh, minus 0 0.5. Minus, minus 0 0.5, yeah. Good. This is what we need. The portal mesh is at the edge. Now let's take the door mesh and make it at the edge as well. All right, seems good to me. Now we have center of the portal as it should be. Now let's make sure this collider has trigger. Let's do this. And now we need the teleport uh, script. So we're gonna do C sharp script, portal teleporter. If you come up with a better name, let me know in the comments. Portal B, portal A, we're gonna drag it and we're gonna inside our script. Here what we need is a reference to a second portal. What we can do is just, well, let's make a public variable, uh, portal teleporter, it's gonna be other teleport. And then we need a function on trigger stay. So on trigger stay, we're gonna check if position uh, of the object that is inside is less than zero on the Z. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do float z position equals to transform world to local matrix. So we're gonna take a world position of the object and and convert it to a position inside of the um, collider. And we're gonna do multiply 0 0.3 by 4. And we're gonna take other transform position. Now we have the z, and we're gonna check if z position is less than zero then we're gonna teleport 
and we're gonna need a method for that so i'm gonna do a private void teleport and we need transform for this so object to teleport now we go here and just call this function teleport and we pass other transform as an object to teleport what's this oh dot z okay now in the teleport we're gonna do very similar thing to what we did with the camera we were placing camera on the opposite side if you remember uh, in the portal view so it's very similar because we need to place uh, an object that enters the portal like kind of on the other side of the portal right so what we're gonna do here we're gonna do vector 3 local position equals to transform world to local matrix and we're gonna do multiply 0.3 by 4 and we're gonna take object to teleport dot position now we have it we need to adjust it a bit we need to adjust the position so we're gonna do local position equals to new vector 3 and here we're gonna do minus local position dot x local position dot y and minus local position dot z and as I said before, it is very similar to what we did in the portal view. Over here, you can see, right? Before we were placing the camera, now we need to place the object. I'm gonna move it up, and I'm gonna do object to teleport dot position equals to other teleport transform local to world matrix, and we're gonna do multiply point three by four, and here we're gonna just pass local position. Good. Now we have to rotate the object as well, so player won't notice at all. And for that, we're gonna do quartonian difference equals to other teleport transform rotation multiplied by quartonian inverse. And here we need to get transform rotation of the portal and multiplied by quartonian Euler 0, 180, 0. Again, same as we did in the last video with the camera. So if you're a bit confused about it, just check the last video. Now we're gonna get the object that we're trying to teleport, object to teleport dot rotation and make it equals to difference multiply by its own rotation. Object to teleport rotation. Now this is gonna work with the objects, but not with the player because player has a character controller on it and it's gonna give us a bit of a bug. I'm just gonna do debug log teleport to make sure it's teleporting me but i know it's going to be a bug because i well i tested before uh, let's go to the unity we have portal b and portal a with a script both of the colliders are triggered now let's drag portal a to other portal here and on the portal a we're gonna drag portal b now I'll just maybe place it like so, so we can see view of the scene and game window. And what's most important, the console. Let's go to play mode. So when I try to enter the portal, um, uh, oh, I know why. Give me a second. We need to switch off or delete mesh collider on the mesh. Let's remove component and go to play mode again. All right, so I'm going to enter and you can see I'm almost at the same position. I was rotated a bit and I can see in the console it says teleport was called nine times. So I was just teleported here and there back again multiple times because I'm pressing forward and character controller rotates and it enters portal again and again and again and again and it happens so fast you just cannot notice you can notice you can notice only rotation all right so how we can fix it i found a way a very simple way we just need to switch off this character controller for a split second so what i'm going to do is go to player controller and make a coroutine just here uh, let's do, uh, we can do a public coroutine. Yeah, let's do I enumerator and it's going to be public and I'm going to call it pause controller. 
All right, inside we need to get controller enabled, false, and we're gonna wait just a bit. So I'm gonna do yield, return, new, wait for seconds. For those who doesn't know anything about coroutines, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video about coroutines and how we can use delay in the code. So you can use it for your projects. We're gonna wait just super small amount of time, 0 0.05 maybe 0 0.5 f. And then we're gonna enable it back. True. This is all what we need. Now let's go to portal teleport and call this coroutine whenever player enters the portal. It's gonna be a super simple check. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna wait a second here in the teleport method. And let's put a comment here, position, rotation. So I'm gonna check if object to teleport, get component of a character controller is there, then I'm gonna do start, then I'm gonna do start. Coroutine doesn't work. It's supposed to work, but it doesn't for some reason. And well, that's good. Um, it's good because some of you may face the same. So what we can do to fix it is something simple. Let's go to player controller and make this private. False controller coroutine. And then I'm going to make a public method, public void. Post controller that will start coroutine for me. Start coroutine. And we're going to give it the name of pause controller coroutine. And that's it. Now this one returns uh, start coroutine, which is this one. And now whenever we need to pause controller, we just call the method. So I'm going to do this. Oh, I did a mistake. This one should check for player controller. Okay. So now we check in the player controller. We're looking for method pause controller. Okay. And I guess now it would work with the start controller as well. Just start coroutine. Yeah. I, I couldn't get what is wrong. So if you want, you can just take the name of the method, put it in the quotation marks and do like so. But since I created the method, I'm going to use a method. Post controller. Okay. So now a uh, controller will, so now we'll post controller for very small amount of time, but this will help us to get control of the character when we enter in the portal. And now let's go and try this. Maximize. Let's go to play mode. And ta-da. Now uh, it is looking weird if you see yourself when you enter in the portal. So you have to be smart about it. Just like I was in my prototype. I placed the doors in a way that you cannot see yourself. And again, in order to make smooth transition, like cutting character in half or something, that would require much more work to do. So I'll just use this way. Yeah, you have to be smart about it. I, I closed myself with a door and now I cannot see how I am entering, which is really cool. And we can do same just in this prototype as well. Let's place the doors in a way that will cover each other. Maybe one door here. I'll turn it a bit and I'll take the second door and place it. I don't know. Let's try somewhere here. Oh, it's in the air. Need to bring it down. Maybe we can put some check for ground and make them place themselves on the ground. I don't know. Now I have one door and second door and I'll try to enter and I'm there. Very nice. Good job, guys. We did a uh, teleport. Love it. Let me know if you need a final project. Maybe I'll upload it to GitHub or something so you can download and use it as your own. Uh, and thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like it.
give me a like button, press the like button and check my website for more courses, unityalexdev.com. Very cool website with lots of cool courses. All right. See you in the next video.